Hello and welcome to the Insights and Soundbites podcast, where people facing vision loss share insights about what has helped them cope and adjust. My early stages of vision loss, I would just feel so defeated at times where I felt hopeless. My name is Douglas Walker. When diagnosed with a vision loss, It's not unusual to go through the grieving process. Today, we'll hear from Vanessa. Vanessa shares with us how learning to live in the moment allows her to look to the future. My name is Vanessa Pruitt, and I live in Kennewick, Washington, Eastern Washington. I have peripheral vision, but I have scarring in my center vision, so immacular degeneration, atrophy. As actually what it's called. And I just found that out in August of 2019. Well, for me, because I used to let things get, you know, when I felt like I couldn't accomplish something, I would let, especially my early stages of, you know, losing vision, or vision loss, um, I would just feel so defeated at times where I felt hopeless. And I went through that for like years. And that kind of makes you feel low and depressed. And so after a while, you know, you kind of have to self-talk yourself out of things because even though the world doesn't really understand, I do. So I I have to kind of self-talk myself into saying, I'm better than being defeated. I'm better than just sitting here and, you know, (laughs) feeling sorry for myself because of the change from when I had vision until now. And, and it's not an easy thing for me to do, but I just take it one day at a time. And um, I do believe that because of that, I, I'm able to face another day. I'd love to hear your story. If you'd like to share, you can leave me a voicemail by calling 847-512-4867. Or you can email me a recording to podcast at hadleyhelps.org. Again, my name is Douglas Walker. Take care, and I'll see you next time.